children and the media in a global frame. This video will detail the disadvantages of children participating and engaging with media and digital technologies. The limitations will address how children generally utilise the media and the risks this has on children, such as privacy issues, peer pressure, damaging of self-esteem and disordered eating. Media consumption is detrimental to children. Children's media usage, especially if that of social media platforms, does not specifically cater for children's needs. Therefore, children engaging with media online is not entirely necessary. With regards to the disadvantages of children utilising media on a global scale, children receive significant peer pressure to create a profile and use social media, media social networking sites. Furthermore, interacting and engaging with media particularly with social media platforms, can damage self-esteem and cause social relationships amongst children. Therefore, social media has implications for the effectiveness of social media usage for children, whilst also causing implications for digital literacy. In addition, widespread communication as a result of children using more digital technology can cause children to come into contact with less trustworthy individuals, such as criminals and imposters online, causing issues for security, privacy and individual harm. In regards to media effects, children are particularly vulnerable to media influence and it has been determined that the media does harm children to a certain extent. In regards to television and film consumption, there is a debate surrounding the notion of children as innocent, passive audiences that suggests that more graphic content within mass media creates links to issues such as obesity and mental health illnesses as a result of greater exposure to such content. Further, it is suggested that food advertising has a direct impact on ideas about body image and has the potential to cause unhealthy food preferences and obesity. Disney princesses throughout the franchise have conformed to gender stereotypes such as being submissive and inferior to their male counterparts since the first Disney princess film was released in 1937. In their study, England et al. 2011 indicate that although Disney princesses have be have become more andro androgynous with more masculine pers personality traits in recent films, the princesses depicted all conform to gender and heterosexual stereotypes throughout the films. Furthermore, media representations of women through Disney princesses and Barbie reiterate that sexuality and appearance instead of career advancement are sold to young girls as their primary means of power. Highlighting the uniform, slim, detrimental figure of all Disney princesses, which contributes to lower self-esteem and body image confidence, exacerbating issues such as disordered eating and mental health illnesses. <laughs>